Hi, friends. Long time no see, huh? Anybody else having some post-Halloween depression going on? Oh, I think we've got, what, 362 days left now? <laughs> As if I'm not counting already, right? So, uh, a couple of days ago, I think it was November 1st, or no, November 2nd, um, well, anyway, I had been watching the evolution of a deck, a Halloween-type deck on Instagram, and the deck was completed, and so I bought it, and my deck arrived on the 2nd of November, which was fantastic because that happened to be the official day of Dia de los Muertos, which, um, for any of you who know, I live in California, San Diego, I am, I live real south San Diego because I'm two miles from the Mexico border. And uh, so uh, there are a lot of Dia de los Muertos celebrations going on around my neighborhood and with my friends and the people I live around. So it's very, very big here. And um, so what I found was tarot muertos and it's a, a dia de los muertos deck and i found it on instagram and it wasn't until after i purchased the deck and other things that i discovered that this deck was actually originally a kickstarter deck and it was a majors only well now it's gone from a majors only to a full-blown deck and I had to have it for my collection, of course. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it here. Um, it comes in a nice two-part box. I'm gonna try and hopefully keep the glare down. We are having a bright, shiny day here, and we're in the mid 70s. So beautiful temperatures, not fall like at all until you get overnight. Then it, it, it dips down into the low 60s. So for us, that's, that's cold. <laughs> anyway, let me get the... Well, here's the back of the box, and I'll read you what it says here. It says, uh, Tarot Muertos is a 78-card tarot deck celebrating Dia de los Muertos, the Mexican Day of the Dead. It is structured based on the classic Rider Waite Smith tarot. It has 22 majors and four suits, grail, pentacles, scepters, and swords. The images are a mix of dia and astrological concepts with decidedly feminine bent. The cards are titled in Spanish and English. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, let's, let's have a look-see here if I can get the... Yeah, the box has no cutouts on the side, so, but it's it's a tight box, which I appreciate, and it's, you know, it's the up-level construction of the box, so, yeah, same thing on the bottom, so, okay, here's our deck, oh, my, 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 my. Okay, so the deck has been printed out of order. Cards are all mixed up and stuff. Um, yeah. All right, so here is the back of the deck. Simon, if you're looking, yes, that's a death moth. And um, I wonder if... It's on the left. Yep. They're reversible. I had to look a couple of times. So the deck indeed is reversible. So you have that. Um, uh, we have the welcome, welcome card in teeny tiny little ass writing. Um, you can register the deck, I guess. Facebook related merchandising. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, basically everything that it said on the back of the deck. Okay, so here's the issue. I, I see an issue already. This is cardboard. 
This is not even card stock. It is like thin cardboard. This is this deck is not going to last me for anything after shuffling. The cards can easily be bent in half. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I paid like $45 for this deck, I would actually just bend the card in half to show you. As a matter of fact, here, this is this is one of their, you know, the throw-ins. There you go. There it is. Right in half. It's cardboard. You can even see on the back, it's cardboard. I'm really disappointed with this because I think the artwork, when I saw the artwork, the artwork's gorgeous. So I'm really disappointed with this shitty cardstock. They could have done a lot better for $45. I would have taken a tuck box instead of this if they had just done better cardstock. I am I'm truly, truly disappointed. Um, this deck, I think, deserved much more. It almost looks like they're doing it and cutting it at home. I don't know. Anyway, let's see how the cards are. Um, so, yeah, so we have the King of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Now, I'll tell you that um, I did see... Um, First of all, I'm going to put a link in the description below because if you have not seen the video from Oya's girl and her friend Christine about um, ancestors and their work with ancestors, Oya's girl and uh, Christine for Dia de los Muertos, um, go watch it. It's it's a phenomenal video. It's 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 wonderful, and she actually pulled out the uh, the major arcana deck so queen of set if you happen to watch my video can you let me know if the kickstarter deck was as crap as this is um yeah so i'm i'm really i love the the artwork is gorgeous it's just too bad the card stock is literally shit um Two of Grails. Now, I'm not... Gosh, I'm going to have to change hands because I know I'm shaking a lot here, guys. Um, I like, I love that one. That's beautiful. So, hopefully they do better on the Miners. Than they did with the majors because according to Christine they focused on kind of the Katrina I can't I can't roll my R's for anything but the the Katrina look as opposed to actual you know ancestors which is really what the day is about it's about your ancestors and not the Katrina so um, hopefully the rest of the deck. Uh, and the Katrina are the skeletons, the skeleton faces. Um, and I'm happy that not all the cards are showing that. So they're really depicting um, the RWS. And you can see here the with the Ace of Grails, the astrological symbols. Ooh. I do kind of like that, kind of like death, kind of like him. The emperor, the knight of swords. I also think, um, I think the artwork could have been bigger. There's so much white space in a lot of the cards. Not all of them, but yeah. The artwork is beautiful. It, I'm, I'm really loving the artwork. Um, but what I need is better card stock. If you got better card stock, this deck would fly off 
the shelf. But with the cardstock it's got right now, it's 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 terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And I'm so disappointed. I mean, I'll use the deck. I bought it. I'm going to use it. But, um, yeah. Two of Swords. Seven of Scepters. So, Scepters is Wands. Seven of Wands. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Now he's hollering, and usually the knights are, especially for the Pentacles. Hmm. Ooh. I do love that. A little homage to Stevie Nicks, maybe. We have the Eight of Grails. Oh, yes. That's the other thing, Judgment. I think that's an homage to Pennywise. Justice. High Priestess. And this was an homage to somebody else, too, that uh, Queen Osset and Christina were talking about, but I can't remember who it was. Lady Gaga? Maybe that was supposed to be Lady Gaga. Not sure. Um, Ten of Swords. That almost looks like Debbie Harry to me. Hmm. We have the Ace of Swords and all the astrological signs. Six of Scepters. Hmm. Daughter of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Grails. Okay. We've got the Sun. Interesting. Fortuna. Ooh, the Magician. Wow. The Nine of Swords. I actually kind of like that one. King of Scepters. Five of Scepters. The Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Grails, the Moon. I gotta say, some some of these cards, I'm having a hard time finding the RWS connection in them. That's a lovely Hermit card. That's lovely. We have the Fool. Eight of Swords, the Queen of Scepters, Four of Scepters, the Nine of Pentacles. I kind of like that. The King of Grails. Hmm. The Five of Grails. The Star. Strength. I like that. I like that. That's a good one. Seven of Swords. The Knight of Scepters, the 
three. The Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Grails. Four. Hmm. The Tower. Not really satisfied with that one. The Chariot. Six of Swords. Daughter of Scepters. Two. Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Grails. The Three. The Devil. And lastly, the Lovers. So, there you have it, guys. There is your Tarot Muertos. I will link, if you want to get a copy of it, I will put the link in the description box. Um, I still stand by the fact that I, I love, the artwork is, is gorgeous. The artwork is beautiful. I wish it was bigger. And my biggest bitch is the cardstock. And it, you know, cardstock is really big for those of us who, who use this all the time. And this deck is going to wear out in no time. But um, I still love it. And I'm, I, well, I should say I don't love it. I still like it. And I will use it, you know, specifically around uh, this time of the year. But, um, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that this one, this one was a real miss, unfortunately. All right, guys. I send you all much love going into the future because the future is uncertain. So I will see you on the next one.